Hey, what's going on, y'all? Um, so I finally got to mount the tires on my LMGT4s. Um, this is a square set of nine and a half um, plus 30, um, 18 inch. Uh, they're square wheels or staggered tires. Um, the fronts, I've got, I wanna say 255s on them. Uh, to be exact, 255, 40, 18. And then in the rears, I've got 285, uh, 35, 18s. Um, they're both 26 inch diameter tires, so they're matching. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to run uh, staggered um, tire setup on a square wheel is because uh, generally when you um, run on the narrow side of a uh, rim uh, it increases the um, stiffness because it pulls um, the tire so it would help with uh, you know steering response and, and um, uh, kind of improve like front end um, you know uh, stiffness of, of the wheel and tire setup um, as opposed to uh, you know like a 285 on a nine and a half um, where you can kind of see it, it's pretty flat as opposed to back here where it's got like a little bit of a bulge um, so uh, generally with this one it would kind of like you know help it squat and kind of help gain some traction as it sits because um, the footprint shape of the front and rear are gonna be a little bit different um, but okay that's a, besides the point um, for the fitment as you can kind of see uh, nine and a half plus 30 with a narrower tire it would probably be right at the fender uh, with a 285 you can kind of see a poke a little bit uh, here goes the other side of course yep. and then the front please don't mind the mismatch um, colors it's uh, kind of hard to come by these wheels, especially for me to be able to get them in a square nine and a half. Um, so I, eventually I'll get them powder coated right now. I really don't care. I'm just trying to get my car up and running because it's still not fully functioning yet. Um, the original um, 19 by 10 and a half ZX, uh, ZR10s I had in the previous videos, um, they're just a little, too aggressive and I'm not ready to run camber but as you can see with this you know I could run it with my current alignment setup with no problems um, yeah so generally uh, I nine for a nine inch or nine and a half width uh, offset wise I usually suggest and recommend offsets in the 30 range usually the mid 30s um, lower 30s definitely work better as you can see it's like more flush a lot of wheel companies um, gram lights um, a lot of uh, work emotions and um, even uh, wed sports they come in a nine and a half usually like you know say like a 35 or a 38 offset um, if they're in the 30s so um, those aren't bad uh, plus 22 isn't bad either um, but it would limit the amount of tire that you can run. And again, as you can see, I've got, you know, 255s. I mean, if, you know, someone was a little more picky, I mean, they could they could probably run a 275 squared and it'd be like flush flush. I mean, you know, to me, this is good. Um, if anything, I probably shouldn't have ran a 285 in the back. Um, probably honestly just do a 255 square would have been like perfect. But um, I'm actually recycling these tires that were originally on my RPF ones. So that's why um, I have this specific sizing. Um, but yeah, so I hope the, this uh, particular, um, you know, fitment kind of gives you an idea for what a nine and a half plus 30 looks like on a sedan. All right, thanks guys.